Hi friends, this is Saurabh here again and uh, today we will be talking about general model of a system. We have already seen in my previous video that uh, what is an information system. Now how this information system is modeled, we will have a look into it. We will also see a general model of a computer system as well. When we look towards a computer system, a computer system is being divided in several different components. Now these components are there in front of you in a screen. You see there is an input, there is an output unit, there is a processing unit and there is a storage unit. So your entire computer system is divided amongst four different units. The input unit, it is the unit from where you give input. For example, right now if I am working on this laptop and if I type something, so my commands which are getting typed, they are inputs, inputs to a machine. And whatever is displayed back to me, that is my output. Now when I am giving an input and what, when I am getting an output back, Inside, there is some processing which is happening. There is another unit which is working, which is known as a processing unit. This processing unit is taking input from me and it is doing several functions over it and displaying back the output. Now, this processing unit is always connected with the storage unit. A storage where all the information and the data is stored. The data is actually stored in this particular unit and whenever needed it is fetched. We see another diagram components of a computer system in this diagram, you will see that there is an input unit, there is again an output unit and this entire unit is given a name as a subsystem. That means of an entire system, we have short or small subsystems. One of the system or a subsystem is an input subsystem. That means all the different devices and technology attached to it encompasses of an input subsystem from where we are getting input. And so is the output subsystem. And then you see there is central processing unit which is your CPU. It consists of several other subsystems. Along with that it is attached to a storage system which is also one of the subsystem of an entire system and in this storage subsystem, there are several other different types of storage mechanisms and storage systems. If you see a CPU, there is another slide. A CPU consists of control unit, arithmetic logic unit. Now control unit is one of the unit or one of the smallest subsystem of an entire central processing unit subsystem which controls input and output operations. The input operations are managed and accordingly the output operations are managed with the help of a control unit which is controlling both arithmetic and logic unit. Since we know computer is a computing machine which computes every second even if I am typing anything and whatever output is coming, no matter whether that output is a music, whether that output is an image, still arithmetic and logic unit 
is performing certain arithmetic and logical operations over it because for you and me it might be an image for you and me it might be just a video but for the computer system it is not there is some mathematical there is some arithmetic operations which are happening over it a video is getting processed a image is getting processed so a cpu will consist of a control unit an arithmetic and a logic unit it is simultaneously connected to a memory a memory or a storage unit the storage unit could be in two different dimensions one you see your internal memory internal memory itself is again of two different types which is ram and rom we'll discuss on that later but for your information for your knowledge there has to be that you should know that there is a primary memory or an internal memory of a machine then there is a secondary memory where your data is getting stored it could be a hard drive or it could be other external drives which are connected the entire system has its own hierarchy which is known as a hierarchical subsystem a hierarchy of an entire system this hierarchy consists of an entire system which has its own small small subsystems that means one system inside another as we saw earlier that we had an entire computer system which consists of different components and these components have their own subsystems and that subsystem might have its own subsystem again if you see in the diagram they show a system consists of a subsystem a a subsystem b a subsystem c for example in a computer system when i have an arithmetic and a logic unit it is one of the subsystem of an entire system an entire system of a processing unit a processing unit will have an arithmetic logic unit inside an arithmetic logic unit will also have different small subsystems inside or some small hierarchical units inside and so further it is endless i hope you understood till now thank you for watching my video